Hi everyone, Sandra here. It's a cold and rainy day in Central Texas. It is February 19th, 2019. And after I'm done with this part of the video, I will be showing you some footage that I took back in the spring of 2018 um, where we show that we made some modifications to the camper, the jack system on the camper. And uh, you may have seen a little bit of that because uh, I did do an update video recently of the camper and you can see that, but this goes into a little more detail and you'll, you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about whenever we get to that part of the video. But before I do that, let's go inside because it's, it's yucky outside. And also, um, we, we did a modification to the front attachment points. There's, there's one in each of the corners here of the camper and that's how we attach the camper, secure it to the truck. Um, the way that we had it before, it was working okay, but we did have a little bit of, uh, I don't know, just some screws kind of wiggling loose. So Dave, he, he did another thing that, uh, I'll be posting a video, making a video about that soon. And then also something else that's going on is that in behind the sink, we did have this piece of Lexon material. And that was to keep that area dry because you don't want this wood paneling come in contact with moisture. And the way that Dave and I do dishes, it's like a bird bath. So water's flying all over the place. And it worked really well, except when we first put the Lexon on there, we noticed, and I don't know how this happened because I was quite sure it was dry, but apparently there was like a tiny minuscule amount of moisture in behind and whenever we tightened the Lexon to the wall you could see it like it made kind of a I don't know how to describe it but it's like whenever you smush clear glass or plastic against something with water you know if you've seen that you know what I'm talking about but we could tell and over time some a little bit of mold developed um, where that was wet so I took the Lexon off and I sanded this area and cleaned it. And what I'm gonna do before I put that back on is paint something back here, decorative. I don't know exactly what yet, but like uh, when I do it, the creativity will flow and it will, it will manifest itself. So uh, that's about it. And now we'll jump to the part of the video where we're going back in time to spring of 2018 whenever we did the jack modification to the camper. And basically the reason that we did that was because this is a 1960s air truck camper and I believe pickup trucks were kind of shorter and narrower back then. So for our 2000 model truck, we were barely able to slide this thing in um, at the maximum height of the jack. So we did this modification to sort of take care of that and also make it a little wider. So you'll see what I'm talking about whenever you watch the footage. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye y'all. Well, yeah, look at this. It's a new jack. Hmm. It seems kind of, I don't know, this part. Is a little flimsier than the current one, but it's a little bit thinner than that one. No, it's the same. Hmm. Well, that's the bottom thing's part. a little different. Here, set it on the ground. Well, yeah, it's a new jack. It's similar to our other jacks. It's the same variety of jack made probably by a different company. I don't know. These are the original jacks. So there's 1960s. Um, I ordered this through Amazon and it's got a different it's crank. Got a, so only one. Oh yeah. We got to have more. One. So now we got another thing to keep track of. Different crank. Different crank. Looks like the same one though. Yeah. It's essentially the same, uh, Dimensions, basically. Yeah, so this is a same. basic standard kind of uh, truck jack, truck camper jack. So it's a made by Rico 
Titan. 1,000 pounds capacity. We're going to add a fourth jack to the camper. Uh, obviously is why we have that. Because I know that many of you may have seen the videos where we lift this thing. And this three jack system just seems a bit frightening to be quite frank. <laughs> You can explain any time. We made these brackets to go in between the jack and the camper and uh, we'll get two inches wider on each side so we'll get four more inches because our tires were kind of close to our jacks and then we'll get another three and a half inches of height because we we're just barely getting high enough. So. The bad thing is that our fully down will be a couple inches higher. That's all right. 